So the Mount Buller stage, stage four. And you know, I can pretty safely say that there's no way I probably would have come to Mount Buller in summer if it wasn't for bike racing, and it's a pretty cool place to be. Jesse's right. never skied, right? That's like, that's not even a green, that's like beginner slope. But it looks way steeper, like, it does, doesn't it? It always looks way steeper looks without snow on it. It's, all white. it's a long way up here. We're in Mount Buller, actually in Mount Buller. We had some accommodation changes on the evening. There's the ski lift, that's what it was saying. You know, this is again, I think we talked about this specifically in the Philippines vlog, where Luke kind of said that, I think that the phrase that he used was like, you just have to be a problem solver. Is um, that because there's cockroaches on the floor? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, not being lazy, just to avoid the, the dirt, the cockroaches. The way he approached it and got it sorted and got it fixed, had us in really good rooms by sort of 7.30, 8pm and we were able to try and get to sleep. Other unsanitary things that I won't mention we found in the in the hotel room last night. It's very hard to kind of gauge just how important that was. Tour life. life is the dream. It's an excuse to eat absurd amounts of food and not feel guilty. It's a bacon scroll thing. Cheese. Yeah, so this morning uh, we were having breakfast and we were having breakfast down with all the teams and of course all the world tour teams. Fun fact, they all eat just the same normal human food that everyone else uses and eats. Muesli, wheat bix, toast, normal quantities, full bowls with orange juice and things. As far as we can gather, there is no secret to being a pro in what breakfast you have. And guys, I, I'm almost emotional about how well everyone did on this day. So let me explain this. Big day I have at the boys, not, not in kilometers, but in uh, opportunities, in um, tension, in anticipation. It was a very big day for us. And I touched on this a little bit in the, the chat I had with Alex Dowsett. That's things like knowing when to sacrifice your own race for your teams, mm -hmm. rather than, you, you, there's some races that have like a little, like, yeah, I'll work for the team. Yep. But I've got a little eye on my own result as well. To start with, we were 100% behind Jay Vine on this stage. Five or six minutes of just going full noise into the base of the climb. Um, I think once it settles into a rhythm, I've got the legs to, to ride with Jay and support him for, you know, a, as long as I possibly can, so. 100%. You know, that's the goal, is to make his life as absolutely armchairy as possible for, for that run-in. It's very, very taxing racing a bike to the base of the climb. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, you know, you look at guys like Nara and Quintana and things like that, and, and often it's, it's that racing to the base of the climb that they struggle with. It's, it's why teams fight for position and fight to keep their GC guys in a good position. More rider sign comes if you want to get a photo of the rider sign. I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, where is that one? Okay, how can we give Jay the best run into this climb as possible? We're talking to, to, to Alex about it. They're not going to, the World Tour teams are not going to let you sit just comfortably in those top four wheels. Never fifth or sixth. There's yeah, never yeah. A, con yeah. like, a Conti team that slots in. We're just like, no, no, yes, no, it's not. So what's our option? Our option is to, well, ride the front of the bunch. So after the break went, there's kind of a sit-up moment, Sunweb start riding. And then we're like, well, let's do it. So we go up next to them, right next to Sunweb. Instead of like just sort of trying to handlebar to handlebar fight in, we're just like, no, cool. Jesse plonks us next to Sunweb and he just rides. And he rides for about 15, 20 Ks. I don't know the name of the guy, but the guy, they, they had sort of three guys kind of alternating turns on the front. After that, they're like, cool. You guys want to ride? In you come. So our entire team, the five of us, slide in behind their two or three guys who are working and we work. So we're doing sort of 10, 15 minute turns pretty much at kind of threshold level to, to keep us on the front and maintain, well, the, I suppose, the vibe that we're allowed to be here. Very well done. Go, go, go. 
Now, this is all good and well. So effectively, this was Jesse and my responsibility. I, I was trying to do bottles as well as that. Here's a Ben. Thank you. That's a Ben. That's a Ben. Yep. But Jesse probably did the massive lion share of that work on the front, which hopefully then kept Dylan and Ben available to, to help Jay because one of the other problems that we found at Falls was that we all kind of like just got lost in the first section of the climb. Good, but you guys should be up with the guys that count. We needed to keep Jay patient, we needed to keep him relaxed and to have a teammate with you in those early stages of the climb can help you do that. You're not trying to find those little gaps, you don't have to close them yourself. Is just wait and wait and wait and wait. So much self control. Yeah. And then uh, start the plan. How are you guys feeling? Jesse's yeah. yeah. um, A bit worried we'd overcommitted. Um, but burn everyone. And just before we finish with Dylan, I jumped back. And um, then uh, we, uh, then I slotted in. Dylan popped and. Uh, I had a good spot to slot in about 20th well, wheel yeah. the rest of the time, so that was really good. <laughs> um, and then the, uh, the actual attack right at the end was pretty pretty rough. Yeah, yeah so I popped that last hairpin and went 40 seconds. Just drive it for 40 seconds. <laughs> you might have a bleep there. And how are you doing there? Are you stoked? Step one, get up on it. Step two, step good. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, guys, said done. Okay. What had you spoken to him about? Um, so we just talked about how he was going right and how he really needed to wait and be patient. Um, that was the key part with this, especially with the headwind. We knew the timing. Just keep your cool. It will happen, and just follow when the attacks went and timed it perfectly. Oh. It was great, yeah. So I must admit, I don't think, I'm trying to think of any other married couples that for the Jayco Herald Sun Tour. Yeah, yeah, I think we're the only one. I think you are. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Before we get on to the next stage, guys, if you do like this kind of stuff, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and like this video please do share it as well guys we have reviews more of these race type stuff and just general Chris rubbish coming up so do get involved with it subscribe to the channel convoy cars are stressful feed zones are stressful I think I've fed nine bottles out of nine and had none dropped winning yeah you get very used to putting stuff in the spots you want um, at the moment we've got uh, one of our spare bikes we've got some thongs around the rear derailleur and around the pedals so they don't scratch which is quite interesting but the guys are really open with each other and and just enjoying it and they're having an absolute ball so it's nice just to be around a bunch of dudes that are having a great time and being sensible what are you doing i'm icy <laughs> um, yeah we're, no, no we're gonna we're gonna rob albie on monday for fresh rafa kicks yeah <laughs> Which brings us on to the final stage, guys. The stage around Melbourne, uh, a, a criterium, a 90k, well, not a criterium, a camise type thing, circuit course. Yeah, look, I, I'll be honest, this was probably one of the coolest races I've ever done in my life. Jay was in sixth on GC, on equal time with the other person who was on five, or was, was in fifth. So he needed a second, and there were time bonuses with sprint points and all that kind of stuff. And I'd love to sit here and tell you guys that we did some amazing team lead out that kind of strung the World Tour peloton out, and Jay sprinted around and took the second, and we all celebrated as a team. No. It was this interesting rise. Right? So Jay, I think, got stronger and stronger as the week went on. Hopefully a little bit in part to the fact that he'd been patient earlier on and he forced a break. He forced a break, got in the move, uh, happened to be with the guy who was on the same time and then, well, basically out sprinted him for that extra bonus second and took fifth on GC. Yeah, Jesse, good ride, mate. He's got it. 
Great work, boys. Great work, boys. We got it. Right, well done, boys. I said to the guys afterwards, let's just stay, let's just stay here, stay at the finish line. And we did. And we just had all these people coming up over to us, either saying, you know, well done on the race, it's been great to watch, or loving the videos and the insight guys. And coming up to me, which is really cool, really nice, but coming up to the other guys in the team as well and saying how much they're liking what they're saying. When this starts to go beyond, like just, me rabbiting on and, and you know you're starting to get these other personalities and people sort of engaging with that like that's what this is about i won't go into the equipment and the sort of numbersy stuff i'm going to do that in some daily vlogs coming up because uh there's a lot to talk about there and we did sort of learn a lot about our equipment and our own bodies in that space guys sun tour i was quite cynical about sun tour coming in because it is sort of trumped up to be this this big deal and i was a bit like oh, is it no it is it really is it's fantastically run i have to say that hats off to the guys involved it was seamless it, the parkour guys i'm sorry it was just better than tour down under like that's you know your falls you got bully you've got Tawonga. it's just a better race full stop than than to it and under okay you're not all staying in one hotel and that kind of thing i get that but just it is a better race um that live stream that gcn racing live stream thing my god if we could get more of that in domestic bike racing and even some of the asian stuff we are gonna just blow this sport up because we have something to show people. Okay guys, um, I'm pumped. I'm so pumped for the rest of the year. So do subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it, and just get involved guys. Like just get involved in bike racing. Cause I tell you what, it's a good bloody sport, isn't it?